So you hear that audio? Now the truck is engaged. It's this is a view of I-20 from inside the cab of one of Kodiak Robotics' autonomous big rigs. Behind the wheel is our safety driver, Rob. Next to him, right seat operator, Jeremiah, both a part of Kodiak's development team. This is the interchange from I-20 to I-45. Which At a quick glance, nothing really seems out of the ordinary. But if you look closely, you'll notice Rob isn't actually controlling the steering wheel, nor is he pressing the pedals. Instead, each movement is being controlled by a computer. Right now, it's driving itself. Yeah, completely. Yeah. Walking me through the test ride. See, as we'll get up to 65 miles an hour. Is Kodiak Director of Operations Don Lepper. And then you'll see it reacting as vehicles are pulling in front, as cut ins, merges, things like that. As we drive, a slew of sensors, radars, and cameras mounted around the truck's exterior are collecting information, sending it to the server to make decisions. Safety is the top priority. It never gets aggressive, it never gets tired, it never gets distracted. Kodiak's self-driving trucks have been on Texas roadways since 2019. The company is based in California and they have a hub just outside of Dallas and Lancaster. We all want our deliveries yesterday and the fact of the matter is that there just aren't enough drivers to meet that type of demand. Kodiak CEO Don Burnett says autonomous trucks offer a unique solution to supply chain challenges. It's artificial intelligence powered intelligent machines that are, be, are able to operate continuously to improve efficiency and lower costs for everyone. This ride we're on is for developmental purposes, so the computer system can practice different driving scenarios. This is actually a really complex maneuver. The Kodiak is already doing commercial routes, delivering things like produce and IKEA furniture from the Metroplex across the country. From like here to Houston, here to Atlanta, uh, uh, Dallas to San Antonio, and then also up to Oklahoma City. On those rides, there's just one CDL driver on board to supervise the system. But the company hopes that by next year, the trucks can operate with no one in the cab. We have a whole safety use case that is going to prove that before we go driver out, our system is going to be as safe, if not safer, than a human driver. In Lancaster, I'm Janelle Fort.